All right. Today we're going to be talking on, on today's video blog training about the buy formula for new construction. So a lot of the videos and a lot of the trainings we do are centered around wholesaling and flipping houses. But as you know, if you're in my lot finder program, or if you follow me at all, you know that I do a lot of new construction. And what's interesting is not a lot of investors do new construction. And when I say new construction, I mean flipping lots and building and selling spec homes. And this is a great way to still fall under the umbrella of flipping, right? Quick cash deals, but it's with new construction instead of renovating. And anyway, I'm not gonna go into a long, my, my feelings about new construction, just know that this is a great opportunity to flip houses by buying a lot, building a house, and selling it. It's really a phenomenal way to make, make really good money in, in quick turn deals, right? So what I wanna talk about and focus on here is the buy formula, right? So just like with flipping houses, we have a buy formula for you know your, your considering your renovations and we figure out here's what you should buy the lot for. I call it the 65% formula. Well, with new construction, we do a similar process and I wanna talk a little bit about that. So first we start with the sale price. Now, this is the price that you'll sell a new home for once you build it on that lot in that particular market. So in order to, de to determine that sale price, you need to really understand that market, right? What are new homes selling for? What kind of, what kind of home would you build? And then what would that look like? So just like with renovating houses and flipping houses, we look at the comps, we look at the sold comps, we figure out our price per square foot of sold homes, multiply that by our square footage of the house. Now we have our sale price. Same thing with new construction. I look at all of the comps. I determine if I build this home on this lot, here's what I can sell it for price per square foot. Multiply that by my, by my average square footage of the homes in that market, gets me my sale price, okay? It all starts there. You've gotta determine that number first. Next thing we look at is build cost. What's it gonna to cost to build that home? Again, we use, we use our measurements of price per square foot. I talk a lot about this. I've talked about it in other videos. This is the unit of measurement we, we analyze deals with. So if, for example, if new homes are selling for 250 bucks a square foot and we can build for 130 bucks a square foot, we have a spread there, right? That's what we're looking for. We're looking to figure out the difference between price per square foot to sell it and price per square foot to build it. So build cost. Now keep in mind, build cost also includes any kind of site improvement. So it could be clearing the lot, uh, it could be retaining walls, could be footings if it's in wet ground, any of that type of lot improvement goes into our build cost. Next thing we have is what we call our soft cost. Now typically our soft cost, I like to count, I like to put a number of 10%. Now this covers this covers um, all of our commissions to buy and sell it, our closing fees, all of that. Sometimes we'll call this carrying cost, right? So that's about 10% of sale price with our formula. And then profit is 18%. That's the number I think you should have. 18 to 20% is a really good profit number that you wanna already factor into your formula. So you wanna take that right off the top. And again, 18% of the sale price is what your profit should be and then you get down to your lot buy, right? This is, once you subtract out everything, what is, what is the price that you should buy that lot for? Just like with houses, we figure out with our formula, what do I need to buy this house for so I can make an offer and try to get a deal? We do the same thing with new construction. We start with our sale price, we factor in our, our cost to build that property or build that house on that property. We, we calculate in our soft costs, our profit, we subtract these numbers out and we get our lot buy. And typically, here's kind of a rule of thumb. Typically, if you can get the lot for about 15% of sale price, then that's a really good quick indicator on a lot you're looking at if the numbers are gonna pencil out. Now, you still have to go through and figure this stuff out because your build cost could vary, right? But as a general rule, now remember, a general rule, don't hold this, this is never firm, but just a really quick way when I'm, when I'm looking at lots and I just wanna get an idea of if the lot price for sale is anywhere in the ballpark of where I need to be, I'll figure out first my sale price and then I'll say, okay, 15% of that. So if it's a million bucks, 15% of that would be 150,000. If I can get that lot for 150,000, 
then I may have a deal. I'll still run my numbers and verify that, but that's a really quick indicator when you're looking at lots. So uh, this is, this is a, a formula that you need to know if you're gonna, if you're gonna consider new construction. And by the way, uh, let's say that you run these, this formula and you find out that you know, your lot buy is 100,000 would be a deal, okay? Now, if you're a wholesaler, then if you can pick that lot up for 80,000 or 90,000, then you've got a good deal that you can wholesale. And I do a lot of, I do a lot, of lot wholesaling as well. Um, in fact, wholesaling lots is often a lot easier than wholesaling houses. So this is a great opportunity for those of you that haven't considered it yet. You know, be sure to check out my lot flipping program where I go into great detail about how to do these new construction deals and how to get finder's fees if you bring deals to me. Uh, so that's it. That's today's uh, blog video training. I hope that was helpful to you. Be sure to subscribe to these videos. Make sure you leave a comment below. We'd love to hear your feedback, and we'll see you soon.